ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we're going to talk a little bit of something. We're going to play a song in the background just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Now, this is the Spanish version of Stop Being Pimped by the Nation. Okay. This is the Spanish version being uploaded right now as we speak. Why? Because that's what we do here. We try to provide as much information to as much people, as many people, as wide a variety of people as we possibly can. Now, let's talk about this guy right here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm going to turn off Sono so that we can hear. I'm just going to uh, turn off the audio and, and it, it'll take care of itself later. But I want y'all to pay attention to what this young man has to say. We ain't going to turn him down. And who's the dictator? Okay, hold on now. I want y'all to, this is only part of the speech. The speech is about 24 minutes long. You can find the speech. It's the El Salvadorian president speaking at CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference. Okay. Did it this year, right after he became president of El Salvador for the second time. He's been locking up all suspected gang members in his country. There are several other, uh, what do you call it, South American countries and Latin American countries that are following his lead. Now, let me tell you, no matter how much you may appreciate and like what this young man is doing, May, no matter how much you may appreciate and like him because he's charismatic, what he's doing is wrong. No, 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 no. There's nothing anybody and their grandfather can say. He can't even say anything. You see, just because a person has a tattoo doesn't mean they're a gang member. Sorry. Sorry. It's just everybody gets tattoos now. Well, what if they got MS-13, 14, 18, 24? What if they got all of that on them? So? That doesn't make them a gang member. Just because they have a tattoo doesn't make them a gang member. And ladies and gentlemen, individuals are being arrested simply because they have a tattoo, which they claim they're gang affiliated. Now, hold on. They had the highest murder rate in the entire nation. The highest but here's the problem ladies and gentlemen you lock up 75,000 people and you don't give them due process I told you I'm the law person I hey if you created a law then follow it they have laws in El Salvador but they suspended it ladies and gentlemen they have a constitution there is no authority to suspend any constitution Pay attention. The constitutions are created by the people, not by the government. The government doesn't create the constitution. So where do they get the authority to suspend the constitution? They don't have it. But he presumed, and so did the United States Congress presume, and so did the world, United Nations presume, that they could suspend your unalienable or inalienable rights. They don't get to do that. Like I said, no matter how much you like the man, he's the man with a target on his back. We're going to play this four minutes of his speech. I'm not going to interrupt. I'm going to let him talk because he's going to say a lot about money. Stop being pimped by your nation. Now, I decided to do the song first, and then I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a video on his conference uh, speech and then combine the two because they're talking about the same thing. And so, apropos, it is. Un momento. The global elites, the global elites and the media, they work in conjunction, they run some stories and publish them, same pictures to reinforce their agendas. You're no strangers to that here in the United States. We deal with that in El Salvador too. That is the free press that they talk about. Please. I always criticize the defenders of institutionalism. Not because I don't think strong institutions are paramount 
and necessary for a democracy, but because I find them very hypocritical. They don't seem to have the same standards for themselves as they are trying to impose on others. But there's yet another component that is more dangerous than a simple double standard. Institutions were created to serve the people and not the other way around. Somewhere, somewhere along the way, those people forgot their fundamental purpose, which is more important than the institution itself. When the judicial system was created, it was created out of the necessity to bring justice. But now, it seems that survival and control of the judges, of the AGs, among others, are paramount. And the need to bring justice is merely a little more than an afterthought. Another example, the police was created to bring law and order. Let them seek law and order then. But now some of them are even afraid to do their job because they fear the consequences for doing it. They should be encouraged to fulfill their foundational roles without fear of repercussions that distract them, that distract them from their missions. If the police was created to bring law and order, let them bring law and order. If the judicial system was created to bring justice, let them bring justice. Let them protect their purpose at all costs. Same goes with the press. Let them be free. A democracy needs a free press. But to enjoy that membership, you must adhere to your duty as a reporter. Report the facts. Don't be a puppet of those who finance you or finance the organizations that you work for. Your freedom of speech, your freedom of speech will always be protected. We believe in free speech. All everyone here believes in free speech. Your free speech will always be protected, but don't call yourself a journalist if you're just an activist. Don't, don't call yourself independent if you depend in open society. Saras NGO for Those sacred institutions have marked away from the reason they were created. We should not defend those institutions for the sake of being institutions. Instead, we should defend the principles that created those institutions in the first place. What we're going to do is we're going to play the part of the speech that is more important. Now, this speech right here, this one, the 28-minute one, is a whole lot more insightful. But I want to get to the part where he talks about money. So y'all hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we got it. Pay attention. But unfortunately, there's more. <laughs> there are other symptoms that are even more difficult to diagnose. For instance, the financial situation of the United States. When I talk to my conservative friends right here, they always tell me that the problem is high taxes. But they're wrong. Of course, high taxes are extremely high here in the United States. I, I give you that. You're right in that. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is not the high taxes themselves, but the fact that they are not even really funding the government. Not even those high taxes, higher than a lot of places in the world, not even those taxes are really funding the government. So who's financing the government? 
Government is financed by treasury bonds. Paper. And who buys the treasury bonds? Mostly the Fed. And how does the Fed buy them? By printing money. But what backing does the Fed have for that money being printed? The treasury bonds themselves. So basically, you finance the government by printing money out of thin air. Someone could ask, someone could ask, well, so if the government can print the limited amounts of money out of thin air, why did they collect taxes? I mean, in theory, it would make sense, right? If they can print unlimited amounts of money, why would they need taxes for? The answer is simple, but it's very shocking. The real problem is that you pay high taxes only to uphold the illusion that you are funding the government, which you are not. It's shocking, but it's true. The government is funded by money printing, paper backed with paper, a bubble that will inevitably burst. The situation is even worse than it seems, because if most Americans and the rest of the world were to become aware of this farce, confidence in your currency would be lost, the dollar would fall, and the Western civilization with it. If the next president of the United States doesn't make the necessary policies and the structural changes. Not possible. It's too late for that because this is a plan to collapse the entire system. This is a plan. If you don't know about it, first go do your research on FEMA colors and then do your research on agenda 30 and agenda 21. Okay, the FEMA zones, how they're going to splice up. Well, they've already spliced up the world to have the industrial section, the commerce section, the manufacturing section, and so on and so forth. They've already divided up the world as to what country is going to be responsible for this, what country is going to be responsible for that, what country is going to be responsible for luxury and vacationing and all of that stupid stuff. They've already divided all of this up. So, ladies and gentlemen... The song Stop Being Pimped by Your Nation was put together. That's it right there. Stop Being Pimped by the Nation uh, song was put together for that information you just heard. Ta-da. And we have Espanol and English. Okay. That's done for you guys. Pay attention because there's some information in there that might prove beneficial to many of you. All right, look, hey, 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 we got to go. But as we go, we're going to take ourselves on out of here with the Pimpin' of the Nation song. So hold on, in English this time, we're going we're gonna to let that one play, but I need to go to this one because this is the song y'all listening to. Okay? So y'all have a good day. Treasury trees, bones. The Federal Reserve creates notes, neither of them have value. They know that a bill of exchange is currency. Bill of exchange is currency. Papers, Eligible papers, instruments. commercial instruments, government obligations. Government obligations. There is no law. There is, there no, is, law. No, constitutional there is no constitutional you amendment allowing that job. No there is nothing in the Constitution that talks about creating money out of paper. paper. It doesn't say paper. It says that no state may coin nothing paper. but, and it doesn't say paper. Yo, promissory note, your bill of exchange. Promissory note, bill of exchange, your draft order. checks, your, your bond, money your order, your bond, your, bank your securities, your bankers' acceptance, your trade acceptance, 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 acceptance all of them obligations. government obligations. You sold your soul. You sold your soul. They took your gold. You sold your soul. They took your gold. Now take it back, y'all. That's right. Take, take it, it back. back. That's right. 
Have a good day, okay? Let it go.